Five beautiful girls were out for a night of birthday celebration with friends. They would now all be 15 years old, so they wanted to do something fun together to mark the occasion. Sadly, this night would be a complete nightmare with a tragic ending. This is the fatal breakdown of the Polish escape room tragedy. Five teenage friends were planning a fun night at a popular escape room in town. It was a celebration for one of their birthdays, so they wanted to do something special to mark the occasion. Julia, Amelia, Gosia, Karolina and Victoria were great friends who were now all 15 years old. The Tonipokaj escape room had four different rooms to choose from. There was a club party room, where you closed down the night and missed hearing last call. You were now locked in a nightclub with a group of friends and needed to find a way to call the manager to get out. Another room was that of a brilliant yet crazy scientist who had numerous inventions in his laboratory. You need to steal his secret plans and escape to become a millionaire. The third room was an old uncle who had died and left you the house. After some exploring, something in the house won't let you leave. Uncle's secret must be revealed to get out of the house. The last room was a murder scene that has been unresolved. You're asked to locate a briefcase of evidence and solve the case. These all sounded like exciting adventures for the girls, so they consulted with the guy who was working the front reception room. His job as host was to help to reset the rooms after guests had completed their escape. Alex also sold the tickets and monitored the rooms to make sure everything was okay. They picked a room and settled the tickets before heading into their adventure. The host wished them good luck and locked the door. In order to escape the room, they would have to find all the clues, solve the riddles, and locate the key to unlock the door. They had a one-hour time limit to successfully get out before the host would call time and unlock the door. He returned to his duties in the reception area while the girls got to work. It was a cold January night in Kozelin, Poland. The small house where the escape room was located had been converted from a residence to a business. The windows in the rooms had all been boarded up and covered with furniture and decorations for the scenes in each room. This small space was kept warm with a heater in the reception area. This type of heater used exchangeable gas containers inside the unit. Under normal circumstances, this kind of heater can be completely safe indoors as long as the canisters are sealed properly and complete combustion takes place internally. Up until this point, things seemed to be working great. The escape room was a big success. The rooms were comfortable and guests enjoyed solving the mysteries to unlock the doors. On this night, Alex was working out front and thought he smelled gas. He spent a few minutes inspecting the heater area and confirmed that it was definitely gas. He opened up the system to look at the canister, maybe to adjust or tighten the connection. When he did this, a frightening whoosh overtook the heater and he was blown back with a wall of heat and flames. He quickly moved back and patted out the fire on his clothes. Alex tried to tamp down the flames before things really started getting out of hand. The flames quickly engulfed the entire wall and crackled with a ferocious heat that he could barely approach. He backed out of the reception room into the open air outside and tried to figure out what to do next. The horrifying realization that there were guests still inside sent him running back to grab the keys. At this point, the flames had taken over the entire front room so that even approaching the door to the escape room was not possible. Back outside, he found someone with a phone to call for emergency services to put out the flames. Inside the escape room, the girls had started off feeling giddy with excitement. The room was extensively decorated with antique-looking furniture and old paintings, all the kinds of things you'd see in an old mansion. The first thing you do when you enter an escape room is look around and take in the whole environment so that you can figure out what might be a clue to the unfolding story. The girls looked at the books on the table and opened an old jewelry box, discovering little notes and secret compartments, all the fun elements that make up a quality escape room. As they worked together to solve the mystery, they heard a shout outside their door. They probably thought it was other guests just having fun, but things quickly changed. They got the first sniff of smoke and were likely instantly alarmed. They tried to open the door, but it was still locked. They banged and screamed to get someone's attention, but the door just kept getting warmer and warmer. They backed away to the farthest corner, but the room was only the size of a small bedroom. They quickly started feeling the effects of the increase in carbon monoxide and decreasing oxygen in the air. They huddled together just hoping for a quick rescue. One of the girls was able to call her father, but was only able to barely say help before falling unconscious. This is the real risk of fire in an enclosed space. A fire consumes oxygen so rapidly while producing a variety of toxic gases as a result of the combustion. 
carbon monoxide replaces oxygen in the air and in the bloodstream. The girls would have felt some quick discomfort, but then just lost consciousness. The insidious nature of carbon monoxide poisoning is quick at such high concentrations in a fire. Carbon monoxide competes with oxygen to bind to hemoglobin in the blood. Once they're attached, it's hard to separate them in the body. Asphyxiation by way of carbon monoxide poisoning is rather quick and silent. By the time the firemen arrived and were able to put out the fire, the girls were already gone. It was a sickening realization that there was no safety protocol in place. The door was locked without an emergency exit. The windows were completely boarded up. The girls were at the mercy of a single employee who was unable to reach the door. This tragedy caused an immediate halt to escape room operations in Poland until they could all be inspected for standard safety procedures. There should be exits that are not locked, rooms that are monitored, and fire extinguishers in all locations. The owner of this particular escape room, only identified as Milos S., was tried in court because he converted a private residence into a business without the proper fire safety requirements addressed. He was also accused of unintentionally causing the deaths of the five girls. These 15-year-old girls lost their lives because of an incredibly simple door lock. A heater fire could be a freak accident which is completely survivable. If they smelled the smoke and were able to run from the room, they could have survived with possibly no injuries at all.